And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A very pleasant good evening here from Ives Lamel Family Field Men's Lacrosse Action coming your way, a USA South battle between the Methodist Monarchs and the Brevard College Tornadoes. Sort of a tale of two different seasons so far between these two teams. For the Tornadoes, they sit at 1-7, and 0-1 oh in conference play. As for Methodist, they sit at a 6-4 and four record through 10 games, 3-0 and oh, unbeaten in the USA South, and not only 6-4, and four, riding a six-game win streak. Started off out of conference 0-4. Oh Since then, they've been red hot, winning six straight, they are atop the USA South, and the Tornadoes, on the other end of that, are eighth in the USA South, ahead of only William Peace, eighth out of nine teams. So, obviously, when you look at things, Method is likely to be the favored team in this game, but as someone that's watching the Brevard men's lacrosse team for the first time this season, not really sure what is in store. I am Brady Penn, bringing you all the action, though, today, and excited to watch some Tornado lacrosse with all of you back home, I've been at the softball field all day, was working the softball doubleheader, now over to men's lacrosse. Taking a look at the statistics for these two teams. For the Natos, it's not been a good offensive season. Last in the USA South in points per game at just under 10 per game. Also last in assists per game at just under 4. Tornadoes also last in shots on goal. As for Methodist, quite the opposite. Second in both points per game and assists per game. Just about 22 points a game and right at 8 assists per game. They're first in shots on goal in the conference and they're led by Mark Chat who's fourth in the conference in points per game and first in assists per game. For the Natos, they are second in saves per game. Jack Hicks, among all goalies, is fourth in saves per game. Jacob Gravely also first in turnovers forced per game on the defensive end. So for the Tornadoes, it really seems to lie within a scoring issue when it comes to their shortcomings so far and why they're sitting at a 1-7 and seven record. Before we step away, we'll go ahead and take a look at the starters for both teams. For the Natos, started off with number one, Tyler Cameron, a freshman, 5'10", 140, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And then number seven, Will Scoggins, a senior mid, 5'9", 140, out of Charleston, South Carolina. Number 11, Parker Corbett, a graduate attacker, 5'11", 150, out of New Westminster, Canada. Number 14, Jacob Gravely, who we just mentioned, the senior defender, 6'200", out of Monroe, North Carolina. Number 17, Nick Cherania, the junior defender, 6'200", out of Evans, Georgia. Number 18, Scott Bundy, manning the net, the goalie, the junior, 5'8", 140, out of Cumberland, Rhode Island. Number 22, Bryce Peterson, a junior mid, 5'10", 195, out of Augusta, Georgia. Number 24, Max Dorman, a sophomore defender, 6'1", 190 out of Charleston, South Carolina. Number 27, Gage Kayat, a sophomore mid, 6'1", 190 out of Mesa, Arizona. And then rounding out the starters for the Natos is number 40, Atticus Cooper, the senior mid, 6'1", 175 from Louisville, Kentucky. The Tornadoes are led by head coach J.D. LeMay in year three at the helm, who is assisted by Brenner Woodcock in his second season with the program. Now we take a look. At Methodist, they'll start things off with number two, Jake Bandler, the six foot one sixty five senior out of Warrenton, Virginia. Number four, Daniel Wright, the defender, six foot one seventy five out of Pasadena, Maryland. Number six, Cy Horner, the five foot nine attacker, one sixty, the junior out of Roxborough, North Carolina. Number ten, Nick Garza, the five nine defender, two hundred and seven pound freshman out of New Bern, North Carolina. Number fourteen, Matt Bentz, the five nine attacker. 150, a senior out of Lexington Park, Maryland. Number 15, Caleb Simpson, the 5'9 forward, 170, a sophomore out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Number 26, Jack Murray, the 5'10 mid, 175 junior out of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. Number 31, Hudson James, 5'10 defender, 190, the junior out of Stokesdale, North Carolina. Then it's number 40, the goalie Jackson Bolkin, 6'195", senior out of Apex, North Carolina. And then number 45, Ryan Cavanaugh, 6'4", 167, senior mid out of Warrington, Virginia. Tornadoes and Monarchs just a couple of minutes away, just over six minutes from the start of this one. Natos and Monarchs ready to do battle here on a Saturday evening from Ives Lamel Family Field. Back here in just a moment.
And here we go, folks. The start of the Tornadoes and the Monarchs. Here on Ives LaMail Family Field, first place Methodist Monarchs taking on the Tornadoes, who are struggling a little bit, starting at 1-7. and seven. And it's a face-off won by Methodist. That was Scoggins going up against Caleb Simpson. Simpson goes over to Bentz. Now Bentz a pass to R.J. Breeden. Breeden has it back from Nate Moore. Now back to Moore. Moore to his left is Jacob Burnett. Burnett, patient, now attacks. Goes right at Tyler Cameron, and now he'll pass out to Nate Moore. Moore back over to Breeden. Breeden inside, fires. That one's going to fly out. Stay with Methodist. Cavanaugh with the ball. Cavanaugh spinning around, gets to the corner, fires and scores. So how about that? Less than a minute in, Ryan Cavanaugh with a goal to start things off for the Monarchs. Methodist, second in the conference in points per game, just under 22 per contest, so no surprise that they're getting things going early here at Ives Lamel. Another face-off coming here. And this one, the ball will pop out and head over to Jack Murray. Murray now running with it and passes to the outside to Matt Bentz. Bent circles back now, looks for a pass and gets it over to J.R. Newman. Newman gives in to the newly subbed in Aiden Kennedy. Now Kennedy over to the left side. It's Caleb Simpson once again. Simpson has it guarded by Scoggins, puts a move on him. Simpson will pass back out to Kennedy. Kennedy looking around, he finds a cutter. Charging inside, back over to Kennedy. Kennedy retreating and is taken away. Brevard has it. Cameron racing up the left side, and that one is out of the reach of Bryce Peterson. It'll be Methodist Bull. That pass sailed over Peterson's head. Nato's in the chrome silver helmets with the white uniforms as having the ball here is J.R. Newman. Now left side, it's Jesse Label. Now Kennedy once again, charging inside, pass behind the goal. Kavanaugh now with it. Kavanaugh fires a pass, and it's out of the reach of Cy Horner. Horner not able to get that one, and Brevard has it once more. Here's Nate Moore with it, or rather, Max Dorman. Dorman fires a pass out of the reach of Eddie Bell. Now here comes Methodist back the other way. Jake Bandler moving quickly, and now he'll take it inside himself. Fire a shot. It is saved. It's on the ground, fighting for it now in a scrum, and Scott Bundy has it. Bundy gets over to Cameron. Now Peters, Michael Peters in the open field. Moves to his left, Parker Corbett. Corbett moves across to Nate Stone. Stone has it, is stationary, then gives over to Atticus Cooper. Addy gives over to Gage Kayat. Now behind the goal, it's Peterson. Peterson with a move. Now he goes over to Corbett. Corbett back to Nate Stone. Stone over to Cooper. Atticus rears up, now passes to the right side, Scoggins. Scoggins to Peterson. Now Stone. Gage Kayat with it. Kayat, for those of you unfamiliar, the son of Brevard football head coach Bill Kayat, and now he charges inside. Kayat fires a pass over to Stone. Stone, now Scoggins. Puts a move. 
trying to get by the defender, and now loses the ball. A good check there by Methodist. It's on the ground. They're fighting for it, and now they have it. Jake Bandler with the ball. Bandler in the open field. Kayat tries to get a check on him. Now a successful clear by Methodist. Zwiefka goes back to Bandler. Now Bandler to the right has Bentz. And it's Nate Moore with it. Moore, left side, Burnett. Back to Moore. Burnett once again. Burnett going to put a move on the defender, Eddie Bell. But Bell stays with him. Pass behind the goal, falling now is Ryan Cavanaugh. But he stays with it. Cavanaugh trying to turn the corner, harassed by Max Dorman. And he gets it over to Nate Moore. Moore inside, fires a shot. That one is saved. Scott Bundy with his second save here. About five minutes in, it's a one nothing game. Terrania has it. Now a pass over the head of Max Dorman, but it is brought in by Bryce Peterson. Peterson over to Cooper. Atticus Cooper. Over to Nate Stone. Stone, now Kayat. Kayat behind the goal. Now Peterson. Peterson moving around. A pass up top to Stone. It's over his head and taken away by Methodist. Kavanaugh now trying to put the moves on two defenders. Inside, he'll pass it out. And it's brought in by Matt Bentz. Bentz, pass, shot, saved. A shot there by R.J. Breeden is saved there, and a nice pass out to Cooper in the open. Cooper moving to his left, trying to get some space, and now passes out to Nate Stone in the middle of the field. Stone moves the pass over. Now here's Peterson once more. Cooper inside, trying to find an angle. Back up top to Stone. Stone moving right to left here. Gets a pass over to Peterson. Scoggins. Now Kayat. Gage right side. Puts the spin move on. Now moves to his left. He's doubled. He fires. That one is out of play. And we'll stay with the Nados. Right side. Quick shot from Cooper off the ground. Goes past the net, but is recovered by Peterson. Peterson over to Kayat. He's not able to go down and get it, but Nate Stone is. Stone now is checked and has it taken away. Running in the open field is Jack Murray. Murray into the teeth of the defense. A pass inside and now a goal. Cy Horner with the score there. Makes it 2-0 about halfway through this first. Horner with the make there and some really good ball movement by the Monarchs. Turning defense into offense there. A universal saying across all sports. And here's Logan Southern now in for the faceoff. His de facto role, but he's not able to take that one. Up in the air with the ball now is Caleb Simpson. And Simpson goes over to Label. Label, now Bentz. Bentz patiently on the right side. Goes back up top to Breeden. Subbing in here is Nate Moore back in the game, and he receives the ball on a pass from Breeden. Now Burnett going to charge inside from the left. Burnett, a pass into the net. A shot, rather, but a make nonetheless. 3 nothing Methodist here. A couple of quick goals in succession after holding a one nothing lead for the first half of this quarter. Now it's 3 nothing. Another face-off coming here. This time it'll be Will Scoggins for the Nados. Scoggins not able to win that one. It's brought in by Graham Clawson. Clawson passes over to Ryan Cavanaugh. Now Cy Horner. Pass. 
Pass now over to the right side. It's label. And now Aiden Kennedy has it. Kennedy. Walled off by Eddie Bell. Good defense there. Now Jesse Label. Inside. Has a crease. Instead, he'll opt for the pass to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Moving around. Has a shot. Fires. And he hits. Kavanaugh puts in the fourth Methodist goal here. And now a timeout coming for the Tornadoes. We'll step aside just about halfway through the first here. 4 nothing lead for the Methodist Monarchs. Back here for another face-off. Logan Southern, now the man at midfield for the Natos. Oh, Southern, physicality there, but not able to win the face-off as Graham Clawson has it and streaks up the left side of the field. Clawson over to Murray. Murray fires. Out of the range of the goal. And now a couple of substitutions coming in here for Methodist. Pass over to Nick Cherania. Now Dorman. Dorman left side. Tiptoeing on the sideline now. Pirouettes to his left. Gets over to number 11, Parker Corbett. Now there's a shot clock issue. Whistle blown for a stoppage there. Pass to Atticus Cooper. And now another stoppage. Problems with the clock. People getting a little testy with the, the clock folks up here. Peterson across to Corbett. Corbett. Now going to try and find an angle. He fires and gets hit hard. Oh. Corbett on the ground. He is still slow to get up. And he, oh, goodness, he is shaking up. And I would be, too. He got drilled. Corbett, under his own strength, though, he's up. He's moving around. He's hobbling a little bit, though. And looks like he's going to head on out. Noah Reisig, an athletic trainer, is out to grab him and give him some help off of the field. And, gosh, he paid the price for that shot attempt, and unfortunately for him, it didn't even go in the net. So here we go. 4 nothing, 6-10 to go in this one first quarter. Hudson James with the ball. 
And he fakes a pass and now keeps it himself. To his left now, gives it to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh fires a shot. Bundy able to save it. And some more shot clock complaints coming here from the officials as Kavanaugh has it. Gives it up to Jacob Burnett. Burnett, right to left, inside. Fires the shot, this one ricochets up in the air off of the save by Bundy, going for it and not being able to haul it in is Cameron. Now Methodist has it back, now Brevard takes it away once again. Michael Peters this time, now Methodist. A check coming here and Methodist has the ball. Inside, firing off the mark there is Nate Moore. Up top, it's Moore. Moore to his left. Turns around, fires up a shot, and that one's saved too by Bundy. So after a sketchy one or two minute frame, Bundy seems to be back on his P's and Q's inside the net. Right side, Dorman. Now a pass out of the reach of Will Scoggins. It goes back to Methodist here. They clear it. Now Burnett. Burnett over to R.J. Breeden. Breeden, Burnett. Now Bentz. Burnett again. Breeden to Moore. Around the horn here. Cy Horner going to work. Pumps the brakes. Passes, and now a shot fired off of the goal, fighting for it, and bringing it in there is Breeden. Breeden, checked by Tyler Cameron. And now Ryan Cavanaugh. Horner. Puts a move on Bell. Can't get the corner, now fires. No one's out of play, but it'll stay with Methodist. Kavanaugh. Moving around the goal, trying to find a spot to either pass or shoot. And he will put that one in. Kavanaugh once again. How about that? Kavanaugh. Off to a really hot start and has been heavily involved in the offense for the Monarchs so far as they've gotten out of this 5-0 lead with 3.32 remaining still. Another faceoff coming here, Southern. And getting down and dirty there. Southern is not able to corral it. It's up in the air. And coming after it to get it is Patrick Rowell. Rowell moving around. He gets checked. He loses the ball. But it's right to his teammate, Hudson James. And looks like Methodist will have the possession. Cy Horner over to Kavanaugh. Now Jesse Label. Label goes to J.R. Newman. Now Newman will slide it over to Aiden Kennedy, who runs on. 2.51 to go in the first. 5 nothing Methodist lead. Kennedy to his left. Gives it up now. Jesse Label. Label fighting for positioning on Tyler Cameron, and he dishes it back outside. Up top, and going in is Kennedy. Kennedy fires. Out of the reach of Bundy and everybody else. It flies out but stays with Methodist with two and a half to go here in the first. Less than two and a half to go here in the first. A 5 nothing Methodist lead. NATO's only have two shots on goal so far. As that one will be way off the mark for Methodist. Looked like Jesse Label firing that one. 
Does stay with Methodist still, though. Kavanaugh gives it up. Inside, shooting and connecting is number 14, Matt Bentz. The sixth Methodist goal here in the first. Tornado is offering little resistance once Methodist is able to get inside, get that interior positioning. So 2.08 to go in the first period of play. 6 nothing Methodist lead. Nato still trying to get on the board here. Southern goes in for another faceoff. And he will not be able to get that one. He's still on the ground. He's able to get up and hobble off the field. As charging inside, splitting defenders, shooting and missing there is number 15, Caleb Simpson. But Methodist does have it back. And it's R.J. Breeden able to recover. And him and Cooper were both trying to scrap for that one. But it's Breeden that comes out on top. And now he gives to Moore. Moore has it. Now goes to Breeden. Breeden working on Cooper. Into the defense, he fires a shot. A nice save there by Scott Bundy. That was a really nice shot. It was on target, but Bundy able to stop it and able to keep the game at 6-0 right now. Cooper gets by his defender and now moves to the left side. Corbett back in there after being shaken up on that big hit. Gets it over to Nate Stone. Stone up top in no rush with less than a minute to go here in the first. Now Bell. Kayat has it. Gage Kayat. 40 seconds of counting here in the first of a 6 nothing game. Kayat, right to left, charges in, fires a shot, and a nice, nice save there. And on the pass, it's taken away by Brevard. Corbett, up top to Stone, 25 seconds to go. Stone, left to right. Fires a shot of his own, and that one's a, no good. A pass in transition now out to Patrick Rowell. Rowell loses it on the check, gets it back. He scoops it up off the ground. He's got some open grass. Gives it off to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh fakes a shot, now gives it up. A shot here is rejected by Bundy. Saved by Methodist, though. Bundy chasing after it. He has it, and that will be it for the first. Methodist with a 6-0 lead. As we head to the second, we'll be back here in just a moment from Ives Lamel Family Field. NATO's still looking for their first goal of this one.
He's back here for the second. NATO's trailing at 6 0. And a faceoff between Southern and Graham Clausen is taken in by Methodist. Clausen has it now. Goes to his right. It's Label. Pass. Misfired there, but Cavonis is going to be able to chase it down. Cavonis with it behind the net. Gets over to Breeden. Breeden. Now Label. Kennedy in. He has it. Newman. J.R. Newman moving quick, going at Michael Peters, and he's going to shoot a laser at the goal way off the mark. A pass inside to Label. Now Label up top to Kennedy. Kennedy putting on moves, now goes for a shot of his own, cannot connect. Does stay with Methodist, though. Cavonis chasing after it. Now right side, Label. Label trying to use his strength to get by Eddie Bell. Now Cavonis. Pass misses, but not able to knock it down is Tyler Cameron. So it will stay with Methodist. Now fighting for it on the ground. Cameron does get it. He's checked, but he gets it away. Peters in the open field to his left. Inside, Peterson, he can't hang on. Methodist will retrieve that one. Here's Kennedy. 6 nothing. Methodist lead. Already 22 shots on goal for Methodist. It seems like they're clearing every time and getting a good look as Kennedy getting sandwiched between defenders, and he gets checked. That's Parker Corbett. Corbett going to let the offense get set up here. Now a whole new group of guys coming in for both squads. Scoggins over to Stone. Nate Stone to his right. It's Kyatt. Cooper. Makes a move. And now firing a shot and putting it through the net is number 22, Bryce Peterson. The NATOs are on the board. Bryce Peterson with the first goal of the afternoon for the Tornadoes, and they're cutting a little bit more into this deficit. So 6-1 the tally. Now after the Natos are able to put their first one through the net, so we'll see if that carries over into some more defensive success and hopefully some more offensive success. as Southern and Clausen line up again for the faceoff. This one is taken by Southern, but he tries to hit it on the ground over to Kayat. It's still on the ground. Southern fighting for it now. He comes out of nowhere diving on the ground, and now Corbett. So unorthodox, but Logan Southern making a play there. How about it? Cooper, newly in, he has the ball. Goes over to Stone. Now Scoggins. Scoggins, a pass inside to Cooper is taken away. In the open field is Jake Bandler. Bandler is tripped up, and that will surely be a tripping foul. Not something that you can do. And so it's Methodist ball. Cavonis with it on the left wing. Kennedy. Kennedy over to Nate Moore. Moore looks around and decides to go to his right. Jacob Burnett now right back to him. Moore, now Kennedy. Breeden, rather. Breeden fighting for positioning on Michael Peters. He fires a shot nearly. Puts it through. That one will head out of bounds and stay with Methodist. Jacob Burnett was chasing after it. Burnett over to Moore. Moore charging in, and what a shot there by Nate Moore. 
Scott Bundy, I don't know if he was able to see that one. That was a laser out of the stick of Moore. And the Methodist Monarchs answer right back to Bryce Peterson's goal with one of their own, Nate Moore. About a 15-yard shot there on a line. Another face-off coming here. Fighting for it and winning the face-off, but not able to control the ball is number 15, Caleb Simpson. Ball still on the ground. Methodist has it. And now it's back on the ground, up in the air, fighting for it. Lots of bodies. Logan Southern trying to get in people's faces now. The flag flies up in the air. Not sure if that was an acting job or not, but regardless, Caleb Simpson hits the ground. And that's kind of messed up. That's a over a 100-plus pound weight difference between the, the two parties there in that interaction. It will most certainly be a foul against the Tornadoes. Southern was the aggressor there. And in a 7-1 ball game, that's not exactly what you're looking for if you're Brevard. And if you're J.D. LeMay, I'm sure it's not. Wasn't part of the game plan. Timeout, so timeout's coming here while they discuss the foul and decide the proper action. 7-1 Monarch lead when we return here from Ives LaMelle. Back here in the second, about four minutes have gone by. A 7-1 Monarch lead as Cavonis surveying. He moves to his left more. Moore, now Breeden. Right side firing, and a nice save there by Scott Bundy. That was Jacob Burnett on the shot attempt. Bundy will circle around the goal. He's pressured and trying to get a pass off, and now will fire a long pass that's hauled in by Michael Peters. Peters floats one over to Gravely. Gravely looking around, waiting for a pass, and he does get one over to Michael Peters. Peters closely defended by Breeden, and now Atticus Cooper to his left. Peterson behind the goal, has it. Now gives to Gage Kyatt on the right side. Kyatt guarded closely, gives to Stone. Stone, now Scoggins. Scoggins makes a nice little move. Can't create a whole lot of separation, though, as he gets a pass away to Gage Kyatt. Kyatt, cross-field pass to Corbett. Now Atticus Cooper has it behind the net. Cooper trying to put a shoulder on somebody. Now a 
Deep passes. Going to go out of play to nobody. And here goes Methodist. Cavonis. Really a three-on-three -three right now opportunity. But instead, he'll slow it down and let everybody else get back. Label. Over to Newman. Now Newman back to Jesse Label. Label with Peters on him. Fires a shot off the mark. We'll stay with Methodist. Methodist ball here. Up top it's Newman. Who fires a shot of his own. That one's off the mark. Brought in by Brevard, and now an errant pass is going to get past Peters, and the Natos and Monarchs fighting for it, and it will be Jesse Label that comes away with the ball. Horner, now Cavonis. About halfway through the second 7-1 ball game. Cavonis spinning around, and a nice save there by Scott Bundy. He took it right out of the stick of Matt Bentz, who thought he had a point-blank opportunity there. This pass goes over the head of Nick Terrania and will go right back to Methodist. The Tornado's really the big issue so far early in this game, aside from not being able to create separation or clear very often, is bad passing. A lot of passes have been out off the mark, and part of that has been due to the tight defense that Methodist has been playing. Right side now, it's Jacob Burnett over to Moore. Now Breeden. Inside. Fires a shot. That one is in. How about that? Breeden getting in on the fun, knocking one through. And that was a really impressive shot in its own right. Another face-off coming here. Southern now going for a face-off once again. After uh, getting into some trouble last time out. Graham Clausen is going to take it coast to coast and put it in. So... Clawson wins the faceoff with Southern and then just takes it all the way down himself and puts it through the net. Nine to one Monarch lead here. A third of those have come from Ryan Cavonis. Everybody else with one apiece between Burnett, Horner, Bentz, Moore, Braden, and Clausen. Southern directs Tyler Cameron off the field to go retrieve a ball. So now we are ready for another faceoff. Southern trying to get low. He cannot. A whistle blows. It will be Brevard possession. And no, they'll switch the call to Methodist possession. Southern throws his arms up, not knowing what he did wrong. Cavonis. Nice pass inside, but the shot off the mark from Murray. That was nearly a great assist. And, you know, Methodist up 9-1 right now. Don't want to make any assumptions on injuries or anything like that, but they do have Mark Chat, who is fourth in the conference in points per game and first in assists per game, and we are yet to see him in this ball game. so something is telling me that Mark Chat is injured or at least unable to be out there with the Monarchs, but it doesn't seem to be phasing them with a 9-1 lead halfway through the second. That ball is up in the air and hauled in by Newman. Now Newman 
trying to work on Michael Peters. Getting a little bit physical. Now he attempts a shot, and it's saved and scooped up by Scott Bundy. Bundy with Cavonis right near him, passes over to Peters. Peters can't handle it, tries to scoop it up off the ground and does. Peters past midfield, gets checked from behind, now being harassed in traffic. The ball goes up in the air and it's taken away by Methodist. Good defense there. Jake Bandler passes out in the open field. Across now, a shot is saved by Scott Bundy. How about that? Cy Horner threw an absolute rocket Scott Bundy's direction and he was able to stop it. Nearly losing the ball there is Eddie Bell, but he gets it back. It stays with Brevard for the time being. Cameron with the ball. A check attempt there by Horner is unsuccessful. Now Cameron, a scoop pass past Peterson will go out of bounds. It'll be Methodist ball. Six minutes to go here. In the second, whistle's blowing. And now we're going to go. Bandler. Right around the 30. It's a nice move on Braden Perez. And now another goal for Methodist. That one is Bandler. And he joins in on the cause. It's 10 to 1 Methodist. Not exactly a nail biter here early on. with a nine-point lead for Methodist. It's still 5.47 to go in the first half to build on that lead. Methodist, though, obviously, it, it's not just because of shortcomings of Brevard's. Methodist is on a six-game winning streak in our first in the conference, a legitimately good lacrosse program. But NATO's not doing themselves any favors as Methodist wins another face-off there. It's Clawson. Left side, Cavonis. Cavonis over to Breeden. Breeden takes a shot. That one ricochets hard off of Scott Bundy's stick and will head over towards the creek. We're going to need a new ball here. Moore has it. Now Breeden. Breeden trying to get the edge on the right side. Peters trying to cut him off. The shot short hops and is brought in by Scott Bundy, who skips a pass over to Jacob Gravely. Now Bundy once again. Pass goes over to Peters. Peters clears it. Michael. A pass to the right side, Cooper fighting for it. He's getting checked, trying to stay with it. Ball still on the ground, gives a shove. Now another check, ball is on the ground. He megs a player and scoops it up. Whistle's blowing. And a timeout coming for Brevard with 4.34 to go in half number one. Methodist with a commanding 10-1 lead when we return.
Final four and a half minutes of the first half of play here at Isamel Family Field. Tornadoes trailing big time 10-1. They do have possession, however. Atticus Cooper has it. Cooper has it taken away. That's Hudson James, number 31. Now in the open field, it's Abe Zwiefka. Zwiefka checked from behind by Kayat. Does not lose the ball, though. Gives it over to Patrick Rowell. Now it's Newman. Newman over to the left side. It's Cavonis. Cavonis over to Kennedy. Now it's Label attacking. Inside, he loses the ball, but it goes right to Cavonis. Cavonis puts a spin move on his man, fires, and that one is going to be off of Scott Bundy. Methodist sticks with it, though. Neither save there by Bundy. And here's Kennedy. Going to go right at Michael Peters. Trying to get around. Now Cavonis around the corner. A pass to an open label who fires, and it's deflected by a tornado defender. Tyler Cameron now has it. Cameron clears out. He's got room. We'll go over to Bryce Peterson. Peterson to Cooper. Cooper, a little jab step. Three minutes to go. 10-1 ball game here. Now Cooper. Gives off to Peterson. Peterson. Pass out of the left side. It's Corbett. 245. 10-1 ball game, Corbett. Pass goes over to Cooper. He climbs the ladder to grab it. Spinning the stick around, the cradle move. Now he tries to find a corner. Gets it over instead to Scoggins. Peterson now. Gage Kayat. Middle of the field. He fires, and that one's off the mark. It'll stay with Brevard. Just under two and a half remaining here in half number one. Nate Stone with the ball. Stone, working moves, now gives to Kayat, Kayat fires and puts one in, a nice shot there from Gage Kayat, second tornado goal, Gage Kayat, part of Brevard Royalty, his, uh, as we mentioned earlier, his dad, NFL alumni, former All-American and most importantly, Brevard College football head coach, Bill Kyatt. Entering his seventh year as a Tornado head coach as whistles blow on the faceoff here. Illegal move there by Methodist, and it'll be Brevard ball. Two minutes to go here in half number one. Peterson fighting with Nick Garza to finally get some space to get it off to Gage Kayat. Kayat flicks a deep pass over to Tyler Cameron, now Nate Stone. Stone thinks about it, gets doubled off, and now gives to Kayat on the right wing. Kayat, pass inside, it's Cooper. Cooper hit from behind, trying to get some space here. Defender not relenting. That's number 12, Patrick Rowell. Now Peterson has it with 124 to go. Pass by Peterson over to Scoggins. Now Kayat spinning around. And now a nice move there to keep the defender off him, but the ball is still on the ground, and Kayat brings a man down in a chokehold. That was... Daniel Wright and Gage Kayat using some of those football genes he's got to make a tackle. And now he'll head off. Nados will play a man down for the next 30 seconds. A hold there on Gage Kayat with 103 to go.
10-2 ball game with a minute even to go in the first half. Left side, Cavonis. Cavonis thinks about lining up a shot. Instead, he'll pass to his right. This is Burnett moving inside, firing and connecting. Burnett with his second goal. With 46 and a half to go. 11-2 Monarch lead. NATO's last in the conference in points per game. They average 9.7 points per game. But the problem is right now they're on pace for four. Playing well below their dead last average. And that's not a recipe for success. At least most would tell you. Southern in for another faceoff here. On the ground, fighting for it. It's still on the ground. And some contact there from Bell. Forces the ball up in the air. Bell fighting after it. He's got it in his stick. Now he doesn't. Now he does. Now it's on the ground and a whistle blows. Now the NATO's with it. 29 seconds remaining here. It's Tyler Cameron. Cameron gives over to Peterson. Peterson gets a pass over to the left side. It's Corbett. 19 seconds to go. Nine-point game. Corbett trying to work his way inside. He's triple team. Fires off a shot. It goes well past the goal. Will stay with the NATO's as Bryce Peterson was in the vicinity. 13 seconds to go. Gage Kayat back in after the 30-second penalty. Now Peterson, they got to get a shot off here fairly quickly. Atticus Cooper gets rushed from behind. Five seconds. Cooper over to Stone. Stone fires a shot. It's off the mark, and that's going to be it for half number one here. The Nados trailing at 11-2 to the number one team in the USA South as we head to the break. Four Methodists. Cavonis, the leading scorer. Ryan Cavonis with three goals. Jacob Burnett with two himself. Cy Horner with a goal. Matt Bentz with a goal. Uh, Moore with a goal. That is Nate Moore, of course. Breeden, R.J. Breeden with one. Graham Clawson with a goal. And one other was put in by Jake Bandler, and that's how they sit at their 11 for the Tornadoes. Bryce Peterson and Gage Kayat, both with a goal apiece. 41 shots on goal in half number one for the Monarchs, as to the Tornadoes, 10. A tough deficit to overcome. We'll see if they can do it when we get back for half number two. Nados and Monarchs.
Back here for the second half of action between the Monarchs and the Tornadoes. Methodist holding an 11-2 lead, trying to expand on their six-game winning streak, trying to make it seven, and they look well on their way with a nine-point lead heading into half number two. Back with you here for the second half. I am Brady Penn. 11-2 the tally, and we have a face-off. Logan Southern getting ready to come back out there for another face-off. A couple of violations by the Tornadoes. Three in total, only one for Methodist. That was in the second. And so here we go. Second half of action. And on the faceoff, Southern fighting for it, and it'll be taken in by Methodist. Nate Moore has it. Moore to his right. Gives it up now. Left side, Cavonis. Cavonis, a hat trick in the first half. Three goals for him. A big part of this nine-point lead for the Monarchs. Nate Moore has it. He goes over to Breeden. R.J. Breeden had one of his own. And now Jacob Burnett. Charging inside, accelerating, shooting. That one's off the mark, but it will stay with Methodist. Cavonis. Spinning around. Gets the angle. And now passes off. It's out of the reach of his tripped-up teammate, Breeden. But Nate Moore able to recover it. It's back on the ground. Fighting for it is Tyler Cameron. It's up in the air. And it is hauled in by Michael Peters. Peters down the right sideline. He's got space to work with. Looking around. He fires a shot. It skips up in the air. A ricochet. And we'll see who this one stays. It'll go Methodist way. I don't think Bryce Peterson ever saw that up in the air. Ultimately, the closest to it was number 16, Michael Tucker of Methodist. Breeden has it. Dishes it out. Now right back to him. Nate Moore with it. Moore had a goal in half number one. Now Breeden in the middle of the field once again. They close inside the 35. Nate Moore now moving inside the 30. Moore right to left. Pass over to Cavonis. He fires a shot. That one's off the mark out of the reach of Bundy and will stay with the Monarchs. Methodist with the ball here. Leading it 11-2, just about two minutes into the second half. Moore, moving to his left nearly, makes contact with Breeden. Another shot off the mark that will stay with Methodist. And the story of this game, the ball has been heavily, heavily controlled by the Monarchs, the possession and the tempo. You see the 41 shots on goal for Methodist, only 10 for the Natos. Massive, massive discrepancy as Moore Moves to his right, now left, now right again. Guarded up by Eddie Bell. And now Moore gives it away to Burnett. Burnett trying to turn the corner. Bell picks up on him. And the shot is going to find the back of the net. Jacob Burnett, his third goal. He's got a hat trick now to go along with Cavonis's. And for Methodist, they average just under 22 points per game, pacing right about for that. Leading at 12-2 right now. And here comes the big unit, Logan Southern, once again for the faceoff. Big 3-9. Going up against Graham Clausen, and Clausen comes away with it. Clausen drifts off to the left and gives to Cavonis. Cavonis finds Jack Murray. Murray. Fires it over to Patrick Rao, who shoots and cannot find it. It goes out of play. Stays with the Monarchs. A lot of stoppage here early in the second half. As Label passes over to Aiden Kennedy. Driving inside now is Label. 
Label passes out to Kelly. Or Kennedy, rather. Now to number 22, J.R. Newman. Newman back over to Kennedy. It's Label. Label inside. A pass behind the net. Cavonis. Cavonis looks for a pass himself. Firing there and missing is Matt Bentz. Methodist stays with it. That's Newman working on Peters. Newman thinks about a shot now, fires in and puts it in, and Scott Bundy furious right now, probably both with himself and with his defense. They cannot retain possession at all, and if Brevard is able to win a faceoff, it'll be the first time that they've had the ball on their side of the field in the first three and a half minutes of second half action. I'd probably be upset too. Another face-off coming here. This time it is Caleb Simpson going against Logan Southern, so we'll see if he can claim another victim here. Ball is still on the ground. They're both on the ground. and Passing out of the left side. That one's out of the stick of both Murray and Rowell, but Rowell is able to recover it. Cavonis, or rather, Breeden has the ball. He's waiting around for people to come in, and now he gets it over to Rowell once again, or Bentz, pardon. Bentz, back over to Breeden, now Nate Moore. Colin Bovet, first time we've seen him today, called his name. Bovet fires, whistles blow, and it'll be going Brevard's way. Looks like maybe an illegal check against one of the NATO's players. So NATO's with the ball. We'll see if they can clear here. Coming from behind Cavonis, he goes for a check, and that pass is out of the reach of Dorman. And the Natos will not be able to clear. They turn the ball right back over to Methodist. Now the pass goes into Abe Zwiefka. Zwiefka loses it on the check. Corbett knocks it out and now picked back up by Methodist. Cooper wasn't able to cross the line. So Breeden comes away with it. Five minutes in to half number two here. A 13-2 Monarch lead. A flag flies up in the air here. It's going to be a penalty against someone. As they continue play here, it's Raul or Bentz gives it away to Cavonis. Cavonis spinning, looking for something, and now gives to Breeden. Breeden between defenders gets inside. That one's rejected by Bundy, but right back towards Cy Horner, it will that it will stay with Methodist. Yes. It was out. Last touch by Horner, it looked like, but now flags in the middle of the field. We'll just see what this is about. Two and it's going to be two offsides penalties. You saw that was why a moment ago Atticus Cooper did not want to cross that midfield line with the ball still loose. He didn't want to pick one up, but his teammates did not catch that memo. So an 11-point lead for Methodist here in quarter number three. Pass to the right side, it's Burnett. Left side, Cavonis flicks a pass, and now the shot ricochets up off of the net. It'll stay with Methodist. Chasing after it there is Matt Bentz. Bentz brings it in. Whistles blow. Left side, Burnett, Cavonis. Moore, to his left, it's Breeden. Breeden, pass inside, and now the shot off the mark from Bentz. 
it will fly out of bounds and stay with Methodist once again. And one thing that Methodist is really good at from the looks of it in this game, as opposed to Brevard, is following their shot, chasing after their shot, and getting these extra possessions. I mean, you see the shots on goal. It's just an outrageous discrepancy. Breeden working on Eddie Bell. Tries to cross over on him, now has the edge. He slips and can't get a pass away. Nato ball. Bundy with it. He passes to his left. It's Gravely. Gravely known for his defense. Flips a deep pass over to Michael Peters. Peters in the middle of the field. Retreating to his right, nowhere to go. And now he finds some space. Cooper. Looking around now, and he goes to his left, Nate Stone. Stone has it once again. Stone over to Hernandez. Now Scoggins, and now the ball flies out of play. It'll be Methodist ball. Tornado's just some really some ugly offensive possessions if we're just going to be observant about it. Not terrible defense, but your defense can only hold for so long when you aren't putting the attack on the offensive end. NATO's dead last in points per game in the conference and assists per game, so not really a new issue. As Cavonis is on the ground. And the Tornadoes do have a good defense, at least comparatively to the conference. Second in saves per game. At Gravely... Jacob Gravely first in the conference and turnovers forced per game, but now driving inside his label. He fires up a shot. It'll ricochet off the post of the goal and fly out, staying with the Monarchs. Just about halfway through this third quarter. Up top, it's Newman. Newman putting the spin moves on Bell, and now he'll be called for a foul as Brevard has it. Eddie Bell, left side. Eddie Bell, a dual sport athlete here at Brevard, a member of the football team as well. Bell up top to Corbett. Now Nate Stone. Stone. Spinning around now gives to Kayat. Kyatt back to Stone at around the 30, drifting inside at around the 25. Now he retreats. A couple of check attempts there from Justice Vale, and now Stone gives off to Corbett. Ball's on the ground, fighting for it, chasing after it, and saving it is Atticus Cooper. Cooper is checked. The whistle blows, and Atticus might have stepped out of play. It's Methodist Bowl. Couple of monarchs come out. So an offsides call was there against Jackson Bulkin, it looks like. Up top it's Peterson. Peterson shoots a pass over to Cooper, it goes through his stick, but he's able to stay with it. Corbett, left side. And the pass is taken away. Methodist with the steal there. Patrick Rowell has it. Rowell left side. Stone trying to track the hip and stay on him, and he does. Rowell whips a pass on a line over towards Gravely, who's able to pull it in. Obviously not the intended target in white, but Gravely has it and now passes over to the left side. Terrania. Terrania over to Corbett. Thinks he has an open look and does not choose to take it. Instead, he slows things down and lets his offense get in position. Cooper wants the ball. He won't get it, at least for the time being. He'll roll a grounder over to Will Scoggins now. Scoggins, at around the 32, gives up to Jacob Hernandez. Hernandez, now Kyatt. Hernandez setting a bit of a screen there for Kyatt, who retreats back beyond the 40-yard line. And now Gage still with it, surveying and looking for his next move. He finds it in Parker Corbett. Less than five minutes to go here in the third. Corbett loses the ball. Methodist has it. 
Looking for an open field pass and finding it there is Daniel Wright. It's fumbled around by Justice Vale, but now he has it once more. Vale to his right. It's Matt Bentz. Bentz. A pass over to Cavonis. And now Breeden. Breeden and Cavonis have been doing some of the major damage here. Those two, as well as Jacob Burnett, have been really the key contributors for the Monarchs. 4.15 to go here in the third as Colin Bovet has it. Now gives over. No, stays with it. Gives behind the net Cavonis. Cavonis. A pass to Moore. Moore up top, Breeden. Right to left. Gets the angle. Fires, and that one is on the ground being fought for, and it looks like Gravely has it. He does. Gravely gives up to Terrania, and it's over his head. Fighting for it, Cooper, he can't haul it in. On the ground now, Peterson fighting for it. It'll go back to Methodist. Mason Davis, and it just seems like every time the Tornadoes get in one of these little scrums where two guys are fighting for a ground ball, the team in green seems to come away with it every single time. Going inside, firing and missing there is number 12, Patrick Rowell. It will stay with the Monarchs once again, as it has for a majority of this game. would be really, really interested to see the time of possession for the two teams. Thirteen two Monarch lead with 3.10 to go in the third quarter. Left side, oh, hard contact there. Hitting the ground was Braden Perez. Weight room moment. But it does aid the NATOs in getting the ball back. It was like Perez took a charge. And climbing the ladder to grab that one unsuccessfully is Terrania. Methodist has it back. Nice pass and transition there. The shot is in. A goal there for Patrick Rowell. He gets in on the fun. It's 14-2. to 2.44 to go, and the NATOs trail it by 12. But the good news is we get another face-off opportunity here for Logan Southern, which is always a joy. If you missed it, one of these face-offs went viral on a lacrosse instagram page a couple of weeks ago with logan southern against uh, one of the tornado previous opponents from early march video circulated on the interwebs gotta love d3 athletics is that one scooped up off the ground by methodist taken in by jack murray murray tries to get a pass to newman instead it goes to breeden now the ball's on the ground fighting for it. There's three tornadoes in the area, and they do come away with it. Bundy has it. Now Scott going to loft one over to a wide-open Tyler Cameron. Cameron going inside. He's checked, and the ball is taken out. Methodist once again forces a turnover. In transition, looking for Zawifka. He's able to retreat and grab it. Two minutes to go here in the third. 14-2 ball game. Methodist with the ball. 145 to go. That's label. Now Kennedy. Newly in. Gives away to Newman. Right side. In traffic. Looking for a pass or a shot here. A lot of traffic still with the ball, and it's taken away by Scott Bundy. That was Matt Bentz trying to fight between about five defenders there. And now here's Eddie Bell in the open field. Oh, he hits a little cut back there using some of his uh, football skills on the defender, but then gives it off to Atticus Cooper. Cooper with 1.15 to go in the third here. On the left side, a whistle blows. Looks like a timeout coming here. With 1.13 remaining, timeout for the NATOs. We'll be back here in just a moment. NATOs trailing it by 12 as we approach the fourth.
Back out of the timeout, 113 remaining here in the third. NATO's trailing it 14 to 2. As Cooper goes over to Will Scoggins, now Nate Stone. Stone to the right, it's Gage Kayat. Closing in on a minute to go here in the third period. Kayat ranging to his left and now turns on the burners and fires a shot that is off the mark there, but it will stay with the Natos. Peterson into Scoggins. Now Cooper. Cooper gets a bit of a screen, now puts his shoulder down and tries to run through a defender, and now he finds the back of the net. Atticus Cooper with a nice move there, mixed with a little bit of physicality, and it's the third tornado goal with 45 seconds remaining here in quarter number three. Attaboy Atticus, 14 to three, 45 seconds remaining. Good gracious, folks. I, not to just divert from the goal that Atticus just scored, but 54 shots on goal for Methodist is just an absolutely staggering figure. As Southern trying to run after that one, he's not going to catch up to that. Ball's on the ground, and now Southern still in the scrum, still just kind of out here running around. And now Eddie Bell hits the ground. It's getting physical and chippy here late in the third. Oh! Parker Corbett with a huge hit and tackle right on the Methodist sideline, and that's allowed. That's allowed. We're going with it. 26 and a half seconds remaining here in the third, and in a pretty... don't want to say boring, but in a pretty lopsided game, we're seeing some... Some fireworks here at the end of the third. You love to see it. Kayat, 20 seconds remaining here in quarter number three. He rolls one over to Cooper. See if Cooper wants to try his hand again here. Gets checked from behind now. Heads to the other side of the goal. Nine seconds. Ball is deflected up in the air. Stone trying to make a move. Five seconds. Stone, four, three, two. Going to fire a shot. That one's off the mark and nearly... Ended up rolling into the net, but not to be. NATO's trail it by 11, 14 to 3. We'll bring it home when we get back here. Fourth quarter action out Ives Lamel. Methodist well on their way to extending their six game winning streak to seven when we return. Fourth quarter action here, Ives Lamel. Face off here, Southern on the ground once again. A frequent sight here today on these face offs as he tries to get a check there and cannot. Now he heads off. Methodist ball here in this final period of play. That's Breland. Or Breeden, rather. Breeden goes behind him to Nate Moore. 
Moore moving right to left. Fires a shot right past Scott Bundy for his second goal of the contest. Nate Moore, for the second time, has put one in, and it is 15-3 here, just about a minute into the final quarter. Now, say what you want about the volume of shots, but the one thing I will say for the Tornadoes is that they have 15 more saves than Methodist does. Again, say what you want about the volume of shots being put up, but that is a fact. Southern, not able to get that face off either, and then kind of gives a little shove from behind to Graham Clausen. Methodist with it. It's Kennedy. Kennedy over to Newman. Now label back to Newman. Newman turning around. He finds label. Now Kennedy. Kennedy whips one back to label. Newman again. Hot potato between these three right now. Label. Label. Now Burnett spinning around. Trying to find space. He's doubled. He splits defenders, goes inside, and finds his shot ricocheted off the pole. Fighting after it, he gets his own miss. Burnett goes over to Newman. Newman, a good pass inside, led his man, but he could not hang on with the stick. And now Bundy passes to Eddie Bell. Bell trying to clear it. And does. Eddie Bell, a little spin move, gets checked in the hip. Now Kai had a pass over to Nate Stone right near the BC logo. Stone, pass over to Cooper. Cooper, left side. It's Corbett with it now. Parker Corbett. Moves right to left, spins around, hits the brakes, fires a shot. That one's off the mark. And it'll be still with the NATOs. Cooper. Trying to find some space. He gets checked by Mason Davis, and now a whistle blows, and it'll be going the other way. So here comes Methodist once again holding a 12-point lead. Methodist actually might be kept under their season average in scoring. They average 21.9 points per game, good for second. In the USA South, as a check from behind by Stone nearly wedges that ball out instead. It is Breeden with it. Goes to his left, finds Kit Allman. But right now Methodist at 15 goals and... Unless they pop off and score seven in the last 11.50, which in theory could happen, they will be kept under their season average, even in a winning effort. We'll say, once again, don't really want to pin all the blame on the Tornado defense here. They've actually done a fairly solid job for a lot of this game, just haven't created a whole lot of offensive looks as Breeden fires one up and it's saved by Bundy. Bundy to his right, it's Gravely, right back to the goalie Bundy he'll move up and then float one to Eddie Bell Bell trying to find some open field getting whacked and <laughs> where are you going 12 Patrick Rowell falling out of the frame trying to check Eddie Bell and now Peterson has one of the three NATO goals today he gives it away to Corbett now Scoggins 10.51 to go. Scoggins wanted a pass to Hernandez, who was coming in. Instead, he'll get a screen from Hernandez, but the defender gets around it. A pass over to Kayat. Kayat flicks to his right, Cooper. Cooper behind the net, goes to his left, Corbett. Corbett trying to find an opening and thinking about a shot. Instead, he is doubled. And holds on to it a little bit longer. 
Corbett with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Gives to Cooper who fires. It's deflected up in the air and it'll stay with the Nados. Four on the shot clock. Kayat is going to lose it and it'll go the other way. Pretty lengthy possession there, but the Tornadoes do not get a good look at the goal. Fifteen three ball game, ten minutes even to go. Methodist with it. It's Patrick Rowell. He gives off to Label. Allman. Working his way around, he gives to Label. Kennedy. Charges toward Perez. Gets right by him with ease. Now fires and a good save there by Scott Bundy. Ball is on the ground. Peters fighting for it. Still on the ground. Peters tries to scoop it up. Still some contact. He throws the man out of the way. Tries to pick up the ball. Still cannot. And it'll be going the NATO's way. Bundy, a pass over to number 24, Max Dorman. Dorman pressed by Allman. He loses it, and a turnover forced there by Kit Allman. That's the other thing I want to see is the number of turnovers that the Tornadoes have. Methodist on the other side of that has been very, very clean. Only had four total turnovers in the first half. The Tornadoes had 16. Less than nine minutes to go here. Nate Moore gives over to Bobet. Bobet taking his time. Trying to get past Perez and does. And now pass another defender. Gets in close to the goal, fires, and it's off the mark. So they'll reset the shot clock here. After the shot on goal. And they'll pass it in. Breeden, Moore, has scored a couple of times in this one, tried to make it a third, could not, but it'll stay right here. Fifteen three ball game. Just about eight minutes to go. Cy Horner has the ball with Perez on him. Inside. Pass. More. No good. Bundy will chase after it, and it'll go the NATO's way. And I just don't understand. It seems like every time a shot goes up, Methodist is sprinting to try and be the closest ones to the ball to get another possession, an extra shot. Brevard just seems to watch. As that check comes out of the stick, do want to be careful to make it sound like make it not sound like I'm ragging on this team I know the hard work that coach LeMay and coach Woodcock and the team put in the hard hours they put in but I mean you look at what the score says tells you a story 15 to 3 seven and a half remaining Bovet inside and that one's off the mark Warner chases after it, and now a tornado is on the ground. Looks like Braden Perez. Perez on the ground still as Noah Reisig and Coach LeMay come out to check on him. He does get up. And he will walk off on his own accord. See Perez and Rice right next to each other having a chat walking off the field. Coach LeMay in close proximity. Perez works his way off. And with 7.15 to go, it's a 12-point game. Methodist probably... 
just has to run this clock out, and they will be at win number seven consecutively, and there is another one put into the back of the net, this time by Jacob Burnett. That's his fourth. Burnett makes it a 16-3 ball game with 7.07 to go. You know what that means, face-off time. Honestly, probably my favorite part of this game has been watching the face-offs. And people are laughing behind me. I'm serious. And now got a whistle blowing. It will be the Tornado's ball. And there it is. Logan Southern comes in and guy does a job. Seven minutes to go here, 16-3 at Ives Lamel. Appreciate you for joining us tonight to everybody watching here on the stream as Corbett tries to turn the corner. Corbett retreating. Now gives up to Scoggins. Scoggins lasers one into Cooper. It's out of his stick, but Scoggins is able to stick with it and get it back himself. Corbett over to Cooper. Atticus left side. Spinning. And now passing to Stone. Six and a half remaining. NATO's on their way to a one and eight start through their first nine games. This will be their second conference loss in two tries as that shot is off the mark, but following after it is Corbett, so it'll stay right here. Fifty four shots on goal for Methodist, sixteen for the Tornadoes. More than three times the amount of shots on goal for Methodist. A lot of opportunities as Stone goes to his right. Kyat. Cooper gets a bit of a pick there from Peterson. Doesn't do a whole lot. Cooper moving around to the other corner. Now Stone fires a shot. That one's saved, and Methodist will take it the other way. This is Xavier Powers. Powers thinks about a deep pass, now just decides to turn it into third gear. Powers, a high pass is off the stick of Cy Horner, but chased down by Kit Allman. Allman guarded tightly there by Dorman. He's able to get a pass away to Jake Bandler. Here's Aiden Kennedy, 5.22 to go. Kennedy over to Newman. Newman left side, Kennedy once again. Allman behind the goal, it's Cy Horner. Now Burnett. Newman looks like Methodist kind of playing a lacrosse version of four corners right now. As the sticks get tied up, and somehow he holds on to that ball, firing a shot. It's saved by Bundy, and it's brought in by Tyler Cameron. Cameron gets a pass over to Bundy, who lofts one up to Dorman. 4.38 to go. Dorman up the right side, passes to Gravely. Gravely, a nice precision pass there to Corbett, but he can't hang on to it, and it'll go the other way. 4.25 remaining. Deep pass there, hauled in by Abe Zwiefka. Zwiefka guarded by Bell. He goes to his left. It's Raul. Breeden has it. 4.08 to go. And once again, folks, I really appreciate you for joining us here today and for me it's been a long day full of Brevard College Athletics we're going on hour number six of broadcasting today but gotta love it two softball game really a softball game and a half earlier today after getting a softball game yesterday and then heading over here to Ives Lamel for this men's lacrosse nightcap per se as charging inside and firing there is Nate Moore he cannot connect and it'll be tornado ball so one last time, just want to thank 
everyone that checked in on any of the live streams today, albeit or whether it be softball or lacrosse. Really appreciate y'all tuning in and checking out what we've got going on here at BC. Fard College Athletics. As the NATO's men's lacrosse team trails right now, the women's lacrosse did get a huge road victory today, which saw Emily Denega score seven goals, so wasting no time and adding to her new record. For those of you that missed, Emily Denega set the women's lacrosse career goals record as a junior earlier this week, and now she added seven more this afternoon. NATO baseball on the road in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, taking on nationally ranked NC Wesleyan. And they won the first two games of that series. Have to check in and see what they're doing right now. NATO's holding a 7-5 lead in game three against North Carolina Wesleyan and closing in on possibly a three-game sweep of the nationally ranked battling Bishops and the preseason number one in the USA South. So a lot of exciting things going on. This game might not be the most exciting, but a lot of exciting things going on around Brevard right now. 16-3, 2.07 to go. Fighting for it and retrieving it is Kennedy. Kennedy now over to Newman. Newman hit by Michael Peters. A flag flies up in the air. Another one does as well. Peters still harassing. And the shot is... Looked like it went in. We'll see. No, they're going to say it skipped in front of the line. There was a penalty regardless on Peters. He'll have to step out. Braden Perez is able to come back in here with 148 remaining. Got a glance down here. Probably can't see it on the camera angle, but we've got esteemed Brevard College legend Bill Kyatt down there on the right side is watching his son play here today at Ives Lamel. So it's going to be a hold against Michael Peters that keeps him out for 30 seconds. He'll be able to come back in with about a minute 20 to go. Left side. Kennedy. Now Breeden. Moore, Breeden once again. Horner. Has that one ricochet up in the air, and it's brought in by Tyler Cameron. 122 to go. This one's been over for a while as Gravely gives over to Bundy. Bundy. Now Perez. Minute seven to go. Perez was about to pass it, got checked. But Cooper is able to haul it in. Cooper gets a pass off. The shot is saved. And now Methodist with the ball. 55 seconds to go. Pass over the Brevard defender goes to Patrick Rowell. Rowell to his left now. It's Horner. Horner, 45 seconds to go. And Methodist can really just hold on to this thing for the final possession. Breeden. Has it left side. 30 seconds to go, folks. Appreciate you joining us. We've got some more softball action coming on Monday. Got a doubleheader for the softball team there. We've got some exciting action coming up for both men's lacrosse and women's lacrosse. And then next weekend, baseball back at home, hopefully coming off of a sweep at North Carolina Wesleyan. 10 seconds to go. Here on this Easter weekend lacrosse special. One second, and that's going to do it. NATO's falling 16-3 to in this one. Methodist Monarchs extend their winning streak to seven. They now sit at 7-4 and four, as well as 4-0 and oh in the conference. They sit atop the USA South. Meanwhile, Brevard with this loss might drop to the bottom of the USA South. 1-8 and eight total, 0-2 oh in the conference, and now riding a three-game losing streak. The only victory so far on the season for the Tornadoes was an 11-3 win against Wilmington on March 11th. Tornadoes came into today last in the conference in points per game, and they did nothing to change that today with just three up on the board against a really good Methodist team who was second in points per game, and they actually stayed under their season average. So the Tornado defense, a valiant effort here today holding Methodist to 16 when they averaged 22 
per contest. NATO's falling in this one. They did get three goals from Bryce Peterson, Gage Kayat, and Atticus Cooper for Methodist. It was a lot of guys in the scoring. Cavonis had three. Burnett had four. Horner, Bentz, Moore, Breeden, Clawson, Bandler, and Rowell all with a goal apiece. Well, this announcer is tired out, folks, after three different contests today. I'm about ready to call it. As we near 7 o'clock, NATO's falling here 16-3. to A happy Easter to everyone listening, everyone who celebrates. And we will see you next time. Until then, I am Brady Penn signing off, saying let's go NATO's.